Hey everybody and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. This is Operation Anabasis. It's a weird Greek word. Someone has actually put in my comment section of my uh, main playthrough how to say it. And I still can't get it. But, as you can see, it's up there now. We have been released from uh, things. There was the um, Endurance Pack as well, which unlocked some other bits and pieces. Some patches and whatnot so that's all in there again if you want a breakdown of everything that's uh, happened with this latest update then please do put it in the comment section and i will put it together for you i'm quite happy to do that but as everyone knows if you've watched the uh, the other playthrough this option here was not there it is now operation anabasis Uh, this is a skirmish operation. Um, it's not in the main game. It's not anything like that. It's basically using the skirmish package this game comes with and creating an entirely new mission. We are tasked with getting a civilian fleet back to colonial space. So, what does that mean? Well, if you played the skirmish, then you know you can create your own fleets. And you can in this as well. Uh, but we'll go through the operation first. They failed their mission. Now they must shepherd thousands of civilians home. Data lifted from a base star wreckage revealed the coordinates of a deep space uh, Cylon Command waypoint. Samantha Agathon volunteered herself to lead 10,000 personnel on a preemptive strike. There she mopped up, uh, no, she hoped to find Lassies and destroy it. End of the main campaign is. Um, you hear, you find out about a triad of Cylon that are in charge of everyone else. Um, and while one was trying to stop war from happening, um, we're not entirely sure what the others were doing. But it looks like this is the precursor to uh, what comes in the TV show later. Far beyond the 12 colonies, they found a mining colony raised to the ground. Only a handful of colonists survived, hidden in orbit on an abandoned Tylium freighter. No other humans were found alive. With no further intelligence on the uh, second IL's location or capability, Praetor Agathon turns her fleet to the lonely frontier colonies beyond Serenus, which is, I believe, our group of systems. No one else is out there to protect them. Draw upon the CIC plotting table, Operation um, Anabasis is the only hope for the scattered colonists. Helena estimates 10 jumps to return to Caprica. It is their duty to evacuate every survivor they can find and guide them back home. Lachesis, I think that's how you say it, I'm probably getting it wrong because you know me and my names, I'm useless. Will not hesitate to pursue Godspeed. Okay, so fleet. So these are all the fleets you can have. Um, you can also create new ones. So we've got Colonial Adamant 1. Basically, this fleet would be made up of one Adamant and a couple of command core corvettes nowhere near the firepower we need they're over here so you can scroll through change their loadouts all that kind of stuff uh, we've got guns I confirm this is guns fleet I basically had a bit of a play around um, so 7680 fleet points it comes with one Jupiter class um, uh, Two Atlas cruisers, Minotaur gunship, and an Artemis battle star. It's not a bad fleet. It's very Viper heavy, as you can guess. Um, the Atlas is really durable. It has an awful lot of armor, but it is slow as hell. Not very maneuverable at all. It's it does have guns to save, but it's basically if you were to take a battle star, strip off a lot of the guns, replace it with armor, and leave the Vipers intact. It can defend itself, it can take a lot of punishment, and it has vipers to attack. But that's it. Don't expect it to win a, a, a gunfight with a revenant, say. It will lose. Uh, the revenant will not be happy afterwards, because it will be completely utterly shredded. But it still will lose. Rival 1 is a lovely pancake of ships. Rival 1 is... Well, Rival 1, 2, and 3 were designed for the Roach War gameplay which you can find in the channel that's between me and commissar roach it's uh, three battles which took way longer than we thought they would um and rival one is a basically just lots of vipers we had very few points to work with go with that 
Um, but it was really fun. It was a really fun playthrough. Um, this is also all these are before we got all the expansion, all the extra ships. So there's none of the Berserk class carriers in the hair or anything like that. Uh, Rival 2 was mid range kind of thing. I put together what I could about that. Rival 3 is the one we're going to be using today. It has been slightly modified from what we got. We have a Sarest uh, supply ship. Although you don't get one free with the fleet, I don't believe. So we're at, that cost us 500 fleet cap just for that. Uh, we do have an Artemis. We have two Minerva and two Adamants as well. Um, Viper 2s on all the ships because Viper 1s suck. Um, we do also have some extra extra stuff we have two new um weapons we can use debris mines and debris mines basically fire debris fighters cannot survive in debris clouds they, they just can't so you can use them so you can use them as like a, a frag grenade a directional fragmentation charge that creates debris feel dangerous to fighters and civilian ships debris mines fell out of use during the imperial wars but colonial fleet has found new uh, a new use for the old tech against the overwhelming number of silent fighters. Yes, that's pretty much what it's there. Um, we also have EMP generator, a localized EMP generator. The pulse will severely disrupt the systems of all nearby ships and temporarily disable squadrons. A grounding kit minimizes the damage done to the host ship system. So I've got one of our advents with an EMP generator and one with a debris mine launcher. Every other ship has missiles. Because missiles. We could go with PM, uh, PCMs, but we've got the Battle Stars to do anti-missile flak and all that. Uh, armor piercers would be useful, um, but you only get three of them, and they're, they're good. I am not going to argue with that. Oh, no, you get four now. Um, they don't do a lot of damage. They do do a lot of armor damage. It's kind of that thing. Proximity mines, obviously, also good. EMP mines, also good, but I'm not using either of them. I'm going for less defensive, more offensive. You can debate that yourself. We also have Viper Force, um, which is basically just Vipers, Vipers, and more Vipers. Not a great build, this one. I'm not happy about this one at all, but mind you, it was pre-changeover. Um, so... That's the one we're going to go with. Um, back to objective, and we will proceed. Using fleets with low point value will result in higher score. Yes, but you really don't want to do that, I don't think. Um, I think we'll be going with this one. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll be going with that one. It gives us the most flexibility. It gives us extra bits and pieces. So 7,960. See, I could possibly go with a Manticore as opposed to the Celeste. And then we could go... You see, the Manticore, we could put the EMP generator on the Manticore. And just have it run straight to the middle of the fleet. Boom. And then have it run back. It wouldn't get attacked or anything in the back, so we'd be able to do that. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Choose the. I don't want these battles to last long, and we're getting we're, we're expecting one battle per jump. So <sighs> don't have a Jupiter. They're extremely expensive, like over two thousand fleet points. I know there's probably people in the comments going, "Why don't you have a Jupiter? You're stupid!" Blah blah blah. Yes, the Jupiter is much bigger. The flak envelope is huge in comparison I love the Jupiter but it's just so expensive in the skirmisher multiplayer it has to be obviously you know you don't want people just spamming Jupiters because I would mm, do I want to jump at no if they start taking a lot of damage I'm going to need the Cirrus to kind of patch things for me. We're going to use you two to go ahead and kind of scout and things, and we'll use the battle stars to protect the fleet. This is probably not going to go well the first time. I have not done this myself, 
So fully expect us to fail and redo. I have no problem with this. <laughs> you know me and my blind playthroughs. It's what I do. Blind playthroughs are my thing. Okay, salvage, nothing. Survivors, 11,413 civilians evacuated. The transport harboring 1,389 civilians has joined the fleet. Secret location. This sector is known by very few. A rare moment when inherent knowledge fails the silence. Inherited knowledge fails the silence. Known coordinates. Familiar sectors are within a red line from this location. Cool. So the red line is the furthest you can jump. Secret location. Plus two reinforcement cooldown. Known coordinates, minus three FDL cooldown, pre processed data, future second info. Okay. Um, pre processed data, some interest data was too valuable to junk, some was just too far out to be of consequence. Okay. All right. Um, oh, we. Is that a Sarast? Yes, it is. I didn't need one. All right, we've got to. We've got to. All right, we'll put you guys out the back then. You, I want you back here. Well, we'll go with that. That allows us to launch all our vipers and stuff while. Wow. Keeping everything nice and low. Okay, let's proceed. Four enemy units. On it, Commander. I want you guys to go forward. I want you two to f go like that. You run with Understood. the adamants. Can you go round? You can get underneath, okay. Um, Saras, go with them. And you go with them, because then we can use you to restock the Artemis. If so we need say to. we all. And we've got deployment, we've got armor plating and stuff. You. Oh, we're gonna have to turn that way instead. Yes, sir. Fair enough, I didn't see that. Probably should start using my... Should definitely start using my... Uh... Yes, sir. in my map more. You're ready. You're spooling, spooling, spooling. Enables repair and resupply. Minus three to processing power for the Cylons. 18% salvage gains. Enables repair and resupply. So we have to choose. That's how far back the Cylons are, I guess. Let's gain the extra 18. Reinforcements in nine turns. Three turns for that, so we need to get to you fast. All right. Um, you. Oh, it's your Agathon, of course. Do I want to launch the Vipers?
Understood. Yes, we will launch the Minerva Vipers. Understood. Send them over here to grab that. I didn't need this Celestra. I could have picked up something different. Go. Oh, asteroid clouds. Yeah. Can use that to our advantage in the future. On it, Commander. Guys, to start coming this way. On it, Commander. You stay with that, Artemis. Vipers. Um, Viper Group One. Let's go find out what they are. If they are Ceres, we are falling back with the Vipers. Five group two, because they haven't fired anything at anyone yet. Defend that transport. Go. All right, you go defensive. Yes, Commander. EMP generator. We're too close to everyone else. That's not going to be helpful to anyone. How are we doing? Ready, ready. Transport still spooling. You, I want you two to come round the side. You slow down. Understood. Go. Missiles incoming! Hostile unit identified. Black, right side. Okay, we've got you guys. Got jumps already? Yes, we do. Okay. Understood. Cancel your target. Hit that. Do I have to call back the squadrons first? Probably do. Recalling squadron. Uh, Understood. Recall. Make sure I'm recalling everything. Missiles incoming. All right, right. Right armor is absolutely shredded, but okay. Uh, we'll put you 
you off that and put you back onto there. Focus your fire there. You can swing around the back. You are going to do a hard stop. Repair your hangar. And keep firing at him. Yes, sir. And you deploy plating. Artemis, yes, right side. Launching drones. Go. Subsystem repairs are complete. All right, everyone should be back on board. Jump status. Okay. was annoying. We've got a Celeste that we didn't even know we had. Jump one survived. Oh, well. Uh, so we can proceed here, I think. I don't want to review that, because that was bad. That Artemis just was such a stomping. We do get a chance to repair, though, so... Only one ship was hurt. Well, one of the adamants wasn't exactly... Got 71% on uh, fleet. resupply fleet to salvage, repair fleet 45 salvage. Okay, well, we're going to repair the fleet. Um, I think we have to keep going. I don't think I get a chance to stop or anything like that and save, which would be nice if I could, but I don't. But we are going to stop this video here. So, what do you think so far? I'm kind of enjoying it. It's a nice little change of pace. It's not, uh, oh, need to set this up, move that around. Oh, I like it. It's literally just get your fleet sorted and get in there. I didn't need another uh, Celeste. So that's for your knowledge. You don't need one. Uh, you can actually have, you have one in the fleet already. You can just fill out with other stuff. But having two is probably going to be a, a benefit to us at some point. Because we can then use two different ships doing two different jobs at the same time. I just, I don't know. I'd rather have fitted it with something other. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like we saw, please do consider subscribing. But until next time, you like to take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.